This is Transformers Generations Scourge. The figure is part of Wave 6 of the Generations uh, subline of the Transformers. And he is, again, a reimagining of a classic G1 character. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and get a copy of the Transformers 80s uh, full-length animation film. Anyway, um, for those of us who grew up with that film, you might remember him as one of the Decepticons that had been reborn by Unicron. I still think this guy is Thundercracker. Some say he's the Insecticon, but uh, I think it's it's Thundercracker. Anyway, uh, he's been reborn uh, uh, because uh, Unicron gave him a new body and... Uh, I've never had a Scourge figure before. This is my first Scourge figure. I don't have the G1 Scourge. I don't have the Titanium version or whatnot. Um, G1 Scourge, okay. Uh, Beast War Scourge does not count. Let me just stand him up for you. Okay. And here he is. Very well very well engineered, designed, and just executed very well. I, I have to commend Hasbro on this one. Um, I never really thought much about this figure when I saw it in pictures. I thought it wasn't going to be that great, but I was really surprised at how much I like this figure. Uh, it's got a great bot mode, great alt mode. Paint apps are okay. Some some imperfections, but which I'll show you later in, in alt mode, but overall, very good. Uh, I like the combination that they used. Uh, nothing too weird about it. So here he is. Okay. Let's fix the lighting. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Now before we go any further, let's talk about the packaging. The most exciting part of Transformers. Seeing the, seeing these toys in packaging hanging on shelves. Uh, I, I got this figure at R Toys. If you're in Manila, you might want to check out their store in Green Hills if you're trying to hunt down a few Transformers that have been pretty hard to find. Uh, as you can see, great artwork. And if you will notice, Scourge is a licensed, registered trademark of Hasbro. Yay! I mean, he's not, he's not, there's no adjective like Decepticon Scourge, Unicron Scourge, or Deep Desert Scourge, you know, Galactic Intergalactic Attack Battle Catastrophe Scourge. I don't know, I sh we should have a contest how to name this guy, if it wasn't registered, but thankfully it's registered. Because unlike Cyclonus, or Galvatron, or Megatron, the name Scourge is not unique to Transformers. Um, if you read up on medieval literature, neoclassic literature, I mean, the Scourge has always often been used, like a Scourge of God, Wrath of God, stuff like that. Uh, so I was pretty surprised that Hasbro got dibs on it. So, very well. Very well uh, played by Hasbro. Um, and here he is. Very nice. Okay, enough of that. In case you're curious. Um, I'm going to have him with his old buddy Cyclonus. And I think, um, and of course, Galvatron. This guy's got to steal the show, right? Hold on. There they are. Uh, if I get a chance to find, I mean, the months to come, I'm sure Scourge is going to be on clearance somewhere. I'm thinking of getting a few more just to make the sweeps, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm pretty sure this guy is going to be one of those uh, figures that collectors will be gunning for, and uh, we'll see. Um, but it would be nice to, to army build your sweeps. So, okay, they look great. They look great together, excuse me. Okay, uh, the figure comes with two guns. Um, they, they fit very tightly on his fists. Uh, if you want to make his gun look a little more like a Target Master's gun, uh, you can fold this one up and reveal the clip, which clips on to this bar. And I'm sure it's going to clip on any other figure with the bar 
the clip bar system. Uh, so it looks very, very cool. Um, this this barrel is a little bit loose, so sometimes it does droop like this, which looks kind of funny. It's like his thing got bent anyway. Um, so that it, it's pretty cool. I actually like it this way better. Now, if you're tired of him ha holding his guns, the guns will fit onto a uh, storage compartment or storage bins on his uh, wings. Oh, like, uh, oh, what happened? Come on now. Oh, there we go. And uh, this one fits right here. So very cool. Um, it, it's nice to see uh, a transformer that can actually hide his weapons. The last one I, we saw that I was really impressed with, that wasn't really a forced uh, placement of the weapon, was... Um, uh, what's his name? Sky Stalker. I love the way those weapons mold into the wings. So, uh, the wings on on Scourge are a little bit poseable, sort of poseable, and they make him look like a demon. I like it better actually. This is he. He sort of reminded me of a robot demon when I saw the cartoon. Uh, but the G one figure just really didn't do it for me. Uh, didn't bother getting it, wasn't too interested in how it looked. But this one, I think this is a, it's not as accurate uh, a, re a representation. They've, they've made them a little bit, I don't know, it could be, but he's a little bit chunkier in some places. But I like this version a lot. I even like this better than the titanium, the titanium version. I'm done with titaniums ever since I got disappointed with Soundwave. So anyway, here he is, very cool. Articulation, as you've seen me pose him. It's got loads of articulation. The only problem I have with this one is his shoulders, if you want to, they sort of bend differently. Um, the hinge is not on the inner shoulder, it's on the outer shoulder. So he can go in and out, forward and backward, but he can't do a, it's very difficult for him to do a diagonal arm pose. So anyway, so that's that. Uh, the head head is supposed to be on a ball joint but all this stuff is just getting in the way of articulation so he's just facing front and even the head sculpt wonderful head sculpt that's as good as it gets folks being true to a G1 classic okay so let's transform him first thing you want to do you want to go ahead and pop these things off the wings just leave them there you want to go ahead and rotate the waist piece. Go ahead and fold up the feet. And I forgot to show light piping yet again. Quickly, just very quickly, because this, this guy's light piping is just freaking awesome. Okay. It was, there we go. Look at that. It's like a zombie. Makes him look like a zombie. Anyway. Uh, go ahead and untab the neck, push down the, the torso, lower torso, and join the, this, uh, sort of plate. Oh, come on. Why is it? Oh, okay. Uh. Hmm. Supposed to go down. Well, anyway, uh, we'll figure that one out later. Okay, there we go. Just didn't loosen it, loosen it a little bit more. <sighs> okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, rotate the arms upward. You want to go ahead and just collapse the. The legs this way. Come on now. And then tab them in. You see that tab right there? It's gonna fit in right here. Okay, like so. Go ahead and fold the head inward. Here's a neat bit of transformation. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the 
uh, the biceps out. Go ahead and pop these things in, the fits in. Rotate and then fold them, pop them back in. Oh, sorry. Rotate the elbows and then pop them back in. Wasn't that cool? <laughs> right? Do the same on the other side. Rotate. Pop them back in and close. That was pretty interesting. Um, wasn't annoying, but it was involved, but it wasn't annoying. So, very nice. Good job, Hasbro. And finally, what's left is really you just have to fold the wings back and tap them in. Tap them in here first, there, and then tap the wings and to those tips right there. That peg right there goes into that, and this one goes into that. And there is Scourge, just plain Scourge, in his uh, recon jet mode. It's like a stealth bomber. He's got landing gear, um, which can be difficult at times to pop out, especially this rear one, which I have no idea why Hasbro decided to engineer it this way, because it is a pain getting out. So, one rear wheel and six, three on each side for the front wheels. They don't roll, they don't do anything, they're just molded in. So, yeah. Okay, but very cool. If you need a size comparison, here he is with Galvatron. The wingspan is pretty wide, so he'll occupy a lot of the box. One side of the box, he's occupying like this, and the rest of it is just empty space with the gun placed there. Um, and uh, lastly, I wanted to point out the paint apps. If, you're, if you have an opportunity to select a Scourge from the shelf, there's a ton of them, or maybe several pieces of Scourge figures, you might want to check the paint apps here and the white paint apps on the forearms. Because right here, as you can see on my figure, there's a little bit of smudging going on there. Well, it's not too bad. I can live with it. Uh, it's not as perfect as you'd expect it to be. And then uh, on the uh, white paint apps right here, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, right there. Ah, it's difficult. Oh, okay, from this angle, I think you can see it. As you can see, there are a lot of jagged edges that the, the paint wasn't applied as neatly as you would expect it to be. But other than that, I mean, the thing looks great. I mean, paint-wise and just, it's an amazing toy. It's an amazing figure. And really, for all the G1 fans out there, the, the, the G1 character fans, not the G1 toy fans, this is really a must-have figure for you. So there you go. I've rambled on too much. And yet again, uh, I've made another long, lengthy video for a simple deluxe class figure. Transformers Generations Scourge. Thanks for watching.